I've just got the PI Box India USB C HDMI converter hub delivered to my home. Let's unbox this and I'll show you whether you can connect this to your mobile phone and get a display out and also whether you can get connect uh, a LAN cable to your mobile phone. And I'll also address one of the most uh, asked question in the internet about this particular product which is whether it overheats. So first uh, let's take a look at the box itself. Uh, it says PI Box India over here USB-C to HDMI converter hub with 8 ports is what this product does. And if we take a closer look we can see that uh, it is type C which is uh, the input that it is saying. And it says 4K UHD has uh, USB type A ports. It can also support SD card it says and also LAN cable. So they've also given a QR code to register it and says the model number. And it also says that there are only a few devices that will support the HDMI out that is mobile phones. And if you go to this particular link, you can know whether your phone supports this feature or not because this is only useful if your phone supports it. So let's take a look at this side. It says USB-C to HDMI 8-in-1 converter and model number. Also says the support enquiry numbers and email address. Here it says 8-in-1 converter and that's pretty much about it. The model number as well is mentioned and similar things on this side. And the back side, uh, it has a lot of information, it says thank you so much for trusting us. And uh, yeah, it also says the link for voluntary registration. Uh, also, it says how to check compatibility uh, and whether your laptop USB-C port will support the display out or not. So if it is USB 3.1 port, it will support uh, display out but if you see USB 2 or USB type C 2 2.0 then it will not support HDMI out so that's very important to check if you're going to use it with your laptop uh, and here it says it is imported and distributed by discount bazaar India and also says the model number it says the MRP as 2399 but I got this particular product for uh, 899 I believe uh, or whatever I write right now in the screen I forgot the exact number which I'll check and write it on the screen so that's how much I got it for so we'll use it and if it is really good I would say this is a good value for money at that particular price point so let's unbox this first of all so it has a very nice uh, cover carrying cover that that has shipped along with it so that's pretty good and also if you see here the length of this particular uh, USB-C hub is pretty large and for a comparison these are like some of the USB-C hubs that I have which uh, do support the HDMI out uh, and if you see the length of this particular uh, wire it's pretty small so it makes it really difficult to connect it to a lot of devices especially phones because I use this particular mounting stand uh, along with my phone I just put my phone on top and if you have to connect it it's not really possible uh, it gets bendy sometimes uh, if you bend it too much uh, there is a possibility that it will break off but I feel that this is a much longer wire and this length will help it in in its longevity so let's take a look at the product itself uh, it has uh, the SD card slot and it also has uh, a memory card slot normal SD card slot this is for micro SD and this is normal SD uh, you have two USB 3.0 ports HDMI out port and two USB type C 3.0 ports so that's what is written over here so uh, yeah and uh, this one is a power delivery which would mean that if you if at all you're going to connect uh, uh, a power source to power whatever device you're connecting it to you have to connect it to this one this one is only for uh, uh, data transfer so this side is clear and on the bottom side uh, you have uh, the LAN port uh, which is the RJ45 port and uh, yeah this side is clean so uh, that's about the product it feels pretty sturdily built I would say uh, it is metal and these sides are plastic so otherwise it gives a pretty good feel and also it has this thing to peel off which feels definitely satisfying all right uh, let me show you how you can connect it and whether it supports display out from my phone 
फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल टेस्ट वेदर वी कैन कनेक्ट अ लैंड केबल टू माय फोन यूजिंग दिस पर्टिकुलर प्रोडक्ट एंड बिफोर दैट आई हैव कनेक्टेड माय फोन टू अ वाईफाई व्हिच इज माय होम वाईफाई वेयर आई हैव माय राउटर वेरी नियर टू मी सो दिस इज द स्पीड दैट आई एम गेटिंग इट्स अप्रॉक्सीमेटली थर्टी एम सो let's plug this in and see like what we are going to get so first of all when i plug in this particular product uh you can see that uh, yeah uh, there is a blue indicator led indicator and it also has uh, led indicators for uh, uh, the lan port which is rj45 port so now if i plug in the lan cable over here here you'll be able to see a new icon which suggests that the lan port is connected so now if i disable the wifi and again run the speed test i should be getting the same numbers which i am getting it's around 30 mbps of uh, download speed and uh, Yep, around 30, 35 Mbps of uh, upload speed. So now let's take a look at whether it can support the display out functionality. So I have uh, this HDMI port that is connected to my monitor over here, and I'm recording on the same phone that uh, I have connected the uh, USB hub to. So I'm going to plug this in, and let's see if it uh, can give an out. So I get a prompt in my phone saying that uh, external display is connected, but I'm not seeing. Yes. So right now I see it. So as you can see, I'm using uh, the same device that I'm recording on for the display out, and that's why you can see it like this. Now this being a Samsung phone, I can use Dex functionality and uh, uh, use it um, as a I like a computer like uh, how you can use Samsung Dex and even you can connect uh, so if you have uh, this USB keyboard and mouse what you can do is you can connect the dongle to uh, this particular USB port and uh, make use of uh, the keyboard and mouse that way so let's move on to the final question which is uh, whether it overheats or not so for that what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep this connected and uh, i'm going to power this display for uh, some time maybe an hour or so and we are going to check whether it overheats or not one eternity later all right so i had uh, paused the video recording and it's been an hour right now and uh, i could definitely feel that it is warm but it is nowhere near being uh, as hot as some of the comments suggest but uh, yeah this is a very brief test i have only like used this for like 45 minutes right now so this might not be a sure shot test so what i can do is i can use this particular hub because like i'm going to put it to a very heavy usage i'm going to use it for uh, live streaming uh, different videos so that is going to be a very hectic workload that uh, this hub is going to take and i'll uh, i'll write a pin comment uh, saying how it performs while i am live streaming so that you can have a fair idea about uh, how good this particular product is so until then i'll see you in the next video and thank you so much for watching